Hello everyone! This week I passed 10,000 subscribers, which is amazing, thank you so much! But to celebrate, I thought we'd try a little experiment and we'd put the wisdom of the crowd to the test. And there will be moderately fabulous prizes to be won. So this guy here was Sir Francis Galton. He was a statistician and half-cousin of Charles Darwin. He was a controversial figure, but the story I want to tell today was the time he went to a livestock fair in 1906. And at the fair there was a competition to guess the weight of the butchered ox. Now, despite having 800 entries, including experts, no one guessed the correct weight. But when Galton took the mean average of their guesses, they were just one pound away from the true value of 1,198 pounds. And this is now known as the wisdom of the crowds. So over here I have a jar of jelly beans and the question is this, how many jelly beans are in this jar? Take a look at it, look, look, see, it's only small, it's only small, look. Well, have a proper look at it. So here it is, how many jelly beans are in this jar? Now, yeah, you look like a bunch of mercenaries, so what prize do I have to offer? How about this pack of Top Trumps Mathematicians from my Top Trumps of James Bond video. And if you remember, this was devised to be a non-transitive game. So I could offer this. Uh, how about I'll throw in some non-transitive dice as well uh, for my dice video. And I don't know, I'll throw in a whole bunch of other props too for my old videos. I'll make a pack out of it. And if you want, you can, you can win this jar of jelly beans as well. So take a look at it there. It has six sides. So if that helps. And if I hold it up to my head for comparison, you might be able to see how big it is, but be aware, I have a surprisingly small head. Okay, here are some rules. Only one entry per person, and only entries in the YouTube comments below will count. If more than one person gets it right, then I'll put your names into a hat. It is currently Sunday the 12th of June 2011, and it's raining. The competition ends next week on Sunday the 19th of June 2011. I'll analyse the results and I'll tell you who won next week and we'll see how the crowd did as well. Now I don't know what the answer is myself, all I do know is that it's one less than it was. <laughs>